Consider it so good. So free. Look at all these triggers, man. <laughs> Look at all these freaking triggers, man. Bringing you. Oh my lord, the party of triggers is just going berserk. Mono red. Mono freaking red. I'm even shooting your stupid face because you deserve it. Because you freaking deserve it, man. Oh! Who is oops now? Who is. Oh! Oops! Oh! Your go! Oh! Shut up, man! What up, brothers and sisters, and welcome to MTG Malone with me, Max Malone. Thank you all so very much for tuning in. I hope you're having the most wonderful freaking day. We had a very beautiful live stream yesterday. Another thank you to Andrea Mengucci for the raid with over 250 people. That was mille grazie, molto freaking amazing, my friend. And uh, yeah, everybody that was here naturally, you're even freaking more amazing because nobody sent you. You came from your own volition. Is that how you said volition? <laughs> so thank you also very much. Also, we are still on our way to 30k, so if you have not already, you can part of the Melodiac, subscribe to the channel. I would appreciate it also very freaking much. But enough with the yammering. Let's get into the Coco Prowess Rangers. I call it Prower Rangers because it sounds a little bit better, but now that I sung it, I think Prowess Rangers is also pretty much all right. So what is this deck? Well, we're playing around Narset the Enlightened Exile. Creatures you control have prowess. That by itself is already a very, very good thing because we are playing the Monastery Mentor, so everything has double prowess. That is how it works. Just Two times prowess. Every time you play an instant or so, a non-creature spell, you get plus two, plus two uh, onto the monks, onto the mentor, onto everything. And Narset, you know, works very well with that. Very, very freaking nice. But whenever she attacks, you exile a target non-creature, non-land card. So that can also be planeswalkers, battles, whatever is not a creature or a land. But with converted mana cost value, converted mana value, the dog just entered. I, he kind of like surprised me with that. Um, less than Narset's power. So you can just exile it and copy it and cast it for free. So you exile like, for example, a Planeswalker, whatever you want to do, it triggers the prowess, you know? And if you like played like two or three spells before and now she will be like a five or a six even with uh, attack, you know? So that is very darn freaking good. So what is the rest of the deck? Well, we're playing around the Monastery Mentor Haughty Jin Reanimator Shell with the new card Call a Surprise Witness. So, we're trying to throw these either in our graveyard or just having in our hand and then to return them with the Call of Surprise Witness. And the thing is that the Haughty Jin makes all of these spells even cost less, which is super darn freaking nice. And as we're milling ourselves with the Pricklock Prankster, the Consider here, uh, we are also like, you know, having a lot of instant and sorceries in our freaking graveyard. Well, mostly instants. I think this is the only sorcery, yes, and of course the Call of Surprise Witness. You can still cast them with the Narset if you want to, so that is very darn freaking good. And yeah, if you have a board full of like 1-1s one that get plus 2, plus 2 every time you cast something, that is pretty darn freaking good. Another new card is the Unauthorized Exit. It returns something to the hand and surveys, so another possibility to mill yourself. That is also why we're playing the Thundering Falls and the Elegant Parlor right here. And uh, another new card is the Fuzz. You put a 1-1 one, one count on each attacking creature you control. The bother? We don't bother with that every pun intended. If we have to in the late game, we can. Also, obligatory Dominic Meyer art right here. So that means that we can, you know, attack in, cast a fuss for three mana or maybe even only two. If it's in our graveyard, we can cast it even again. You know, that is very darn freaking good. And uh, yeah, then we put a 1-1 one, one count on everything. If Narset is out, we even get plus three, plus three in that case, because it's plus two, plus two here with this, you know. Plus the fuss. Another card that is absolutely amazing in here is the Doorkeeper Thrawn. Why is it so good? Because there's a lot of creatures entering the battlefield. You will even see a game where it won us the game single-handedly. And if not, it is still just a 1-2 with uh, freaking uh, prowess now, which is also very darn freaking good. We're playing the No More Lies. Very good counter spell. And the March of the Swirling Mist is kind of our finisher if they have the board full of stuff. If not, we can still cast it for zero and just pump the team for one mana, which is absolutely amazing. Just remember, if you're attacking with Narset, you cannot use the axe. So you can just 
cast it without anything happening because you cannot target any number of creatures because you don't have a way to pay the X. So, and that is all there is to Bricklock Breaks. They're also very nice. Once more, it's a 1-3 in the air, just like the Thrall. It's a 1-2, but this is 1-3 with Vigilance even, so a very good blocker, and that is all she wrote. That is all there is to it. We have a lot of lands in here, but still only 22 lands. Keep that in mind when you see the videos, and that is all there is to So, uh, tomorrow on Friday, there will be no video, because during the time where there would be a video, I will be live streaming a tournament that I am part of, and, uh, you know, while I'm live streaming, why should I release a video? Kind of is redundant. So, yeah, that is why tomorrow there will be no video. But there will be a live stream, a very long live stream. Like, I will be live for, like, I don't know, maybe even 12 hours or something like that. So, yeah, there will be the normal live stream. And right after that will be the tournament. So, make sure to tune in. I'm playing with people like uh, Seth Manfield, Anne Huschenbeth, uh, you know... Very big calibers of the freaking magic community. But that is all I have to say. Stay out of African much as is go go power rangers. I'm Max Malone, and I will see you in those enlightened games. We're all getting scammy! Oh no, not scammy! Opponent's going first. Hand is very whack. Let's not keep Okay. <laughs> all right. <laughs> okay, all right. Um, getting rid of these two here. Lunark Veterano. I would like that, yes. Please don't play the thing straight up. Okay, doesn't look like they're playing anything here. Nice. So we can just pass the turn. Alright. They're not doing anything. I'm a huge fan of that. I kind of want that, yes. Uh, let's play the false. I kind of still want that, yes. So either we're countering something or we're just playing the Thrall here. Both things are good. Uh, yeah, we're countering this. So we're playing around the other counter spell, but not the new one. The new one got him stumped, eh? A little, a uh, little stump here. You just stumped your toe ever so slightly, my friend. Okay, passing the turn. Just imagine you could return any any card with this, like any instant that you have in your graveyard, that would be amazing. Beautiful. <laughs> Beautiful. Okay, we can even protect that sucker. Oh no. Oh, please don't tell me. Please don't tell me. Please don't tell me. That I got you good here! I got you real good! Okay, um... Let's pass the turn for now. We do have these little pranksters. Yeah, this is all fine with me. <laughs> what is wrong with your opponent? Can't you read cards? Um... Yes, thank you. I like that. Thank you very much. Thank you very darn much. Alright, calling a surprise witness here. It's the Monastery Mentor. Who is surprised now? It is me, Malone. Alright, uh, passing the turn. Man, this thrall. This thrall just brings the party, man. Yeah, okay. Alright. <laughs> Just fill the board. Fill the board real good. Wait, what? What are you doing, opponent? Why are you so unsmart? I want another one, actually. I do. What are you doing, opponent? What is, like, what is this that you're doing? Oh, yeah, I, I threw it away. That is true. And that is it. People sometimes just take their brain, 
put it in a jar, put back the platter of their head, they go into the kitchen, forget why they were there because they have no more brain left, and then they return straight up to the computer, put on empty arena, and do garbage like this. Boo! On you, opponent. Doorkeeper throw for the victory. Rob against pee magic. Yeah. <laughs> <Don't> <laughs> Why would anybody do pee magic? Okay. Um, we don't have a white source yet, but we do have this and we do have this. So I'm inclined to keep this. I absolutely am. Opponents going first. We don't care about that. All we care about is like not getting cursed here. If we could not get cursed, that would be very cute. Very, very cute. So what are we up against? Alright. Oh, okay. Alright, okay. Um, kinda don't want that blue source. So here comes the dragon or whatever. Cheeky house mouse. Alright, passing the turn here. Let us see if they're even doing anything. Cheeky freaking house mouse. What the heck? Let's do this now. Because if they want to use it. You know? That is kind of fine with me. Still not finding that white source, eh? Still not finding that white source. I find that hard to believe. Alright, how many more protection spells do they have, though? How many more? How many more? Okay, there is one more. No? I mean, it's better than no land. Just strictly better than no land. Yo, Mina, how you doing? I don't know. People told me the music was fine. Maybe they're all liars. Dirty little liars. We will see, though. <laughs> we will see if everybody's lying or not. Consider here first, white source, white source, cool white source, music is fine to you, then Mina, must be a white source, alright, that also means that we can pick lock prankster here, oh my sweetest baby Jesus, okay, <laughs> okay, <laughs> what a determination was that, <laughs> We milled ourselves three lands. <laughs> Mina, how you doing? It's just, yeah, the music is hard, but it's not too loud. I'm doing well. I'm doing well. I just realized that two weeks ago... How do you like my new background, by the way? How do you like them potatoes? Combat research... Okay. Let's counter this. If they have another spell to put on their little cheeky house mouse, so be it. Still wasting all of their stuff, you know? Wasting it all. Ooh, I do have a mentor in here. So let's do this now, because that way we can still use the island. Uh, the March of the Swirling Mist. Why did I say island? I don't know. So let us see what their last freaking card in hand is, shall we? Nothing. They don't have anything. Beautiful. Freaking beautiful. Alright, more mentors. Why not? <laughs> Why the heck not? 
I mean, a spell, an instant or sorcery would be nice. ASMR the stream? Yeah, absolutely. So, they found another security bypass. Which, you know, sucks ever so slightly, but hey. Nothing I can do about it. There's another monastery mentor for your troubles, though. So, yeah. What? I never cast a thrall? Have you not seen the last game? Yo. Yo, Lupo Negativo. I literally won the last game only because of the thrall. Only because of that. So, yeah. That was kind of good, you know? Not even lying. Is the thrall now? There, I cast it. Freaking cast it. <laughs> you were cleaning the dishwasher? Why are you clean? Doesn't the dishwasher kind of clean itself? Kind of? Kind of? Okay. All right. We're still just slamming in with everything. And we win. Not even doing the math because math is for blockers. We even played Narset here. We even have Nars in here. Oh, we had it all. We had it all. Beautiful. We're up against Camby Alt. Also, I, I let, like, you know, work very... Oh, my Lord Crimmers! Yes. How do you like this? Three white lands, a red one, but no red or white spells. Only blue spells. What? How? I mean, you know, at least we have the elegant parlor here. Uh, let's get rid of this. This will help us find a land. There you go. There you go. Just as intended. Right between the venue and the city? That is pretty cool. That is pretty darn cute. How much Azori? Like, what is this shenaniganery? Absolute shenaniganery. Alrighty. They don't have any... Yo! <laughs> How much land was that? <laughs> How much freaking land was that? Alrighty. So if they want to get rid of this, that is kind of fine. They would have to, uh, you know, use the get lost. Yes, then I can bring it back, sing it back next turn. With the surprise witness. And then I even have the march to protect it, which is pretty darn nice. Alright. So here it comes. And that is all I'm doing. Just keeping up my march of the swirling mist here. If they do have another one, a so be it, you know? Nothing I can do or want to do about it. Alright, that was kind of non-surprising here. Not even lying. I want to keep the sleigh of hand. I mean, it's crazy. I figured you played a helix. I cut the helix last time. I'm not putting it back. I'm staying with a friend, we'll be taking the train in. Yo, that is amazing! Also, if you see me, come say hi. Like, 100% come say hi. If not, I will be mad. Literally mad. Okay. So, Wandering Emperor incoming? Or what? You have a Wandering Emperor. One hundred percent of Wandering Emperor. Come on, Blue Source! Sadly, no. Let's keep up the mana. So here comes the Wandering Emperor. You know, if we wouldn't have milled us three lands here, we would have been in no worry whatsoever. But like this, absolute worry whatsoever. Yo! Even the train to Amsterdam is going to be nice. We're eight people in the train traveling together. Nobody invited me. I thought we were friends. I thought we were friends. Here comes the sunfall. In three, two, one. No surprise. So yeah. I threw away the Narset. I threw it away because I didn't want it now. What do I get straight up another Narset? <laughs> 
I think I'm going by train, yes. Oh, I'm not going to an offer. You can, you can forget about that. Forget about it. How are we only milling ourselves lands every single time? Okay, perfect. Here's the prankster now. Just doing pranky little stuff. Okay, alright. And now I'm chilling. One more land and we're cooking. One more land and we're cooking. <laughs> Like, it's not so close, you know? It's not so close. I mean, why are they doing this? Do they have their own No More Lies in hand? And are they wasting it here? Absolutely wasting it. Alright, No More Lies on No More Lies violence. Us milling ourselves three lands here is what broke my back, man. Absolutely broke my back. Like a camel's freaking straw. Or whatever the saying is. I don't know math. Leave me alone. Could have drawn a freaking land one turn sooner. To prevent the freaking sunfall. It would have even been possible, you know? They were on exactly only five lands. So yeah. Kind of annoying. Not gonna lie. Alright. Call a surprise witness. Let's do that. Wait. Let's do it a smart... Wait. <laughs> I almost did it the unsmart way. Almost did it the unsmart way. The Malone way. Yo, there's a lurk mode. You can just put an exclamation mark lurk. The only reason I'm saying is because Holy put in the work, you know, to put it in there, so yeah. One, two, three, four, five. Here's the Wandering Emperor now. I don't care about that too much, to be honest. Maybe a little bit Mama Hold Me, but not too much. I have got new moves to teach you. If they have another Sunfall here, I will be slightly mad, game. Slightly freaking mad, because they're exactly on eight lands, so that would suck a lot. Must be easy being cheesy, you know? Must be freaking easy being cheesy, man. Must be oh so easy being cheesy. Stupid game sometimes. Two get lost, two sunfall, two memory deluge, and I cannot find a second island. <laughs> Alright, this is five damage. They also have like the anchorage that they're not using here, which is crazy to me. Oh, they are using it. Alright, okay, alright. Okay, alright. Man, really, you know? Every time you think you have a good day, this happens. <laughs> this happens. Why did it happen to extra blue source? I'm not blocking that. I might be crazy, but I'm not mad. Okay. Stupid wandering emperor. Stupid sunfall. The lands? No, because once I milled myself, I milled myself three lands. That was absolutely disgusting. <laughs> absolutely disgusting. It was kind of funny, but it was also kind of freaking disgusting. Oh my! Calling a surprise witness here might be pretty darn freaking good. Oh, I only have the Thrall left. Let's still freaking do it, right? Let's try to find a land here, shall we? Oh, game. Oh, game. Okay, all right. 
That is kind of fine. I like that. Thank you very much. So if I attack in here now, what will happen? They have another no more allies. They have another one. They have another one. They do not have another one. We still lose here, don't we? We still lose here, though. Because of one life. Of one measly life we lose here. Man, this sucks. This just sucks. Wait, what? They have another removal for my thrall. They have a removal for my thrall. Yo, this is so crazy, man! Come on! Come on, man. Come on, man. Just... Nah. <laughs> nah. Get out of here. I mean, you know, we could have not milled us the lands in the beginning. And have enough lands to play the game. <gasps> Krimus! Yes, Krimus! I have the elegant parlor. I will find a blue source with this. I will cry everything away that is not a blue source. Sunfall and farewell at the same time. The problem is right now we have like eight, eight board wipes in white. We have the sunfall. We have farewell. We have, um, I, I will check, I will check, but we have depopulate, exactly. We have way too many, way too freaking many. So now we'll never find that blue source, eh? Okay, vanquish the horde, yes. That also. Like, so many, I, I can't even think of- Yo, game. Game. One blue source, all I want. One little, little blue source here. Would be cool, would be cool. Would be cool. Oh, look, another sunfall deck. <laughs> Yo, madness. Madness! I hate you, game! Why is this deck so cursed? <laughs> Why is it so cursed? <laughs> okay, draw your card. You do that. Draw your freaking card. Uh, we have way too many. There's a new one from the new set. Like, it's, it's so many board wipes, it's not even funny anymore. Oh! <gasps> oh! <gasps> A blue source? Ah, I'm throwing this away. And I'm keeping my Monastery Mentor with this, you know. And we have two March of the Swirly Mist, so that is alright. We found the blue source! We're cooking! We're cooking! Okay, another land is not even half that bad. Because now we even have the No More Lies. So we will see what they do here, you know? They just want to target my Monastery Mentore, that is fine with me. Oh, they found a land! Okay, alright. Okay, alright. We only have one blue source, which sucks, because we cannot play Narset right now. But let us see what your opponent does here. Another wedding announcement. That doesn't concern me as much as you might think. The game is just absolute mad right now. Absolute freaking mad. Oh, they don't have a cutdown. I thought they had a cutdown, maybe. 
This is the second game in a row where we got screwed with blue sources, man. But only with blue sources. That is crazy to me. Right, block in here like this. You want to draw two cards? That is fine with me. <laughs> okay, game. All right. You have the technology. <laughs> okay, game. Absolutely all right. That is <laughs> absolutely fine with me. <laughs> absolutely fine with me. Absolutely freaking fine with me. I mean, the opponent has drawn more wedding announcement than we have drawn blue sources. Let them attack in. They really want to draw that one card so bad that is fine with me. We'll see what they're doing here. Three buried treasures. Also very showy. Okay, and, all right, Sunfall. All right. Let's do this now. Make certain that we maybe find another blue source. That is kind of okay. Kind of need that, to be honest. And they need to discard here. That is true. That is true. So we are just attacking in here. I want to still keep up my March of the Swirling Mist and stuff. And we will see what they're doing here. They're just playing Liliana. I'm kind of fine with it. But I would really... Really love <laughs> to find something, you know? <laughs> to just freaking find something. The Wandering Emperor is fine with me. Anyone I have no quarrel with that. Alright, uh, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, and four. Alright. Making another monk even. It's very nice, I like it. So we can get rid of this Wandering Emperor here. And what will they even do, you know? If they would have destroyed it, it wouldn't have been so bad. But you know, no more lies now even. But still no freaking blue source. <laughs> oh, what is going on here? <laughs> Maybe I need some more white creatures, am I right? Come on, play your Sunfall. Play your stupid Sunfall, I know you have it. I know you do. I know you do. I know you do. So, what you got here for me, my friend? Show me what you got. Show me what you freaking got here. The iron Crag, couldn't care less about your Iron Crag. <laughs> okay. What is this? Sacrifice it at one mana. The Sunset Revelry. They can't pay for it, so it doesn't really matter, you know? Question is, can we win? Now the Celestis, even. And... That's it. That is it. Okay. Um. Seems pretty good. Seems. Oh, there is the blue source! We win, right? So, one, two, three. 
You and you. Screw you, hardy gins. One, two, and three. Oh, we win with the fuss! We win with the fuss! That is so poetic! I don't know why I said poetic, but it is. <laughs> it is kind of poetic. Oh, so much damage! Look at this! Oh, 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 oh! That was... Oh, the retribution I needed against Arena! For making a fool out of me in the last game! But you can come and knock at my door! I will look, uh, open the little hole in there and look through and say, hey, it's Arena. You try and make a fool out of me, but fool me once. Shame on you. And that's it. Shame on you. We're up against Bruno Campos. Hey, look at my fingernails. I'm a vampire. Yo. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Yo! <laughs> Yo! <laughs> okay. I mean, it is what it is, you know? It is what it freaking is. What am I supposed to do about this? <laughs> so, who was asking? Yes, I'm still getting screwed with lands with this deck. For whatever reason. Um, do I want this? I kind of do. Because of Narset and all of that jazz. Okay. Charming Scoundrel. That is literally not a vampire. But okay. I'll accept it. I shall accept it. Alrighty. Throw it up, my friend. Throw it up. So we will see what happens here now. These mulligans, man. They were absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. I don't have a good feeling about this. I really, really don't have a good feeling about this. They don't have a black source, though, you know? So that is already very good for us. We're attacking with both. It kind of makes me suspicious. Very suspicious about that. Now they have a black source? Oh no. Yeah. That's GG. That's absolutely GG. The Jurass. Well, there is one card they could get rid of, and that is exactly that, yes. Okay, now they know my hand. My tiny Maloney hand. Let us see what we can find here. That is super darn good. That is like super good. <laughs> like seriously super good. Okay, all right. I like that. Now we just need some spells. And we're cooking. Let's hope we can get cooking, my friends. Let's hope we can get a cooking. Because right now we deal way more damage than they do, you know? So, yeah. Let us see what they're doing. Also, they're losing life here, so that's also good, you know? We can just bring in the Thrall. Yo, Gokalper! Thank you so much for the follow. I really appreciate it. Use the Thrall now. Give it a Thrall, give it a Thrall, give it a Thrall now! Why are they holding priority like this? Here's Narset now. So they have six there. Let's keep back the Thrall for now. I sure as heck don't want to use Narset here. Oh, that was the wrong one. 
But the thing is, if I attack in, I will give everything prowess. I'm scared for my life here. But if they destroy Narset and attack me, then what? Sorin the Murphalers. Kind of annoying, but actually not the end of the world annoying. Making a little vampire, dude. You deal with this annoyance. Wait, what? Why? Because of the one damage? So what happens if I use this? I don't care. I cannot use the axe, right? I cannot pay for the axe. So let's not. Just hope that we draw something that isn't a freaking land here. Let's just hope we draw something that isn't a freaking land here. Game. <laughs> Come on, what the heck? <laughs> what the literal freaking heck, man? Okay. Did they survive barely? That was absolutely whack. <laughs> absolutely whack. <laughs> I cannot believe that we're still alive here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight again. 22 lands, my friends. Nothing. The fruit of the day, yo, Don Cthulhu! Don Cthulhu! <laughs> How are you doing, my friend? How are you doing? There was no fruit yet. Yeah, I think that is right. It would count for prowess, yes. That is, I still cast it. But uh, it would not count for, I could not pay the X, which is kind of whack. Kind of super whack. So, yeah. That is, that is just... They just scoop. They scared me so much. They scared me so much. I was about to call my counselor. And then they just scoop. I don't understand, man. <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> Why did they not have a single piece of removal? Get out of here. We're up against Hawkson. It's the son of a hawk. Crimus! Yes, and we have all the colors in our starting hand. Oh, that is so beautiful. Hello, hello there, friendly waver of the hand. Hello. I want that. Nice. Thanks. I don't want that. So, okay, Mr. Big Shot. <laughs> Yo, game. <laughs> Yo, game. You're drunk, go home. You're home, go drunk. So, yeah, I think we win here. I don't want to be that guy, but I feel like we win this. Are they even attacking in? They're not. They're not attacking in oops. Sorry, I guess. No, 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 cancel. Cancel. What in the heck are you doing, game? What in the heck are you doing? Your goal? Just shut up, man. Um, I am attacking in. So, worst case, we're getting rid of this, you know? Okay, that is fine with me. We can take a hit here. We can absolutely take a hit here. Okay. Freaking heck is wrong with you. Shut up, man. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> like, what is your freaking problem? Have you been drinking again? 
Alrighty. Yeah, thanks. I think it's nice too. Phoenix chick, okay. And... Thing is, I think we win here. Let's give him an oops. We deserve the oops here. Absolutely deserve the oops here. Consider it so good. So free. Look at all these triggers, man. <laughs> Look at all these freaking triggers, man. It's absolutely amazing. Um, I want to do this. Bring in you. Oh my lord, the party of triggers is just going berserk. Mono red. Mono freaking red. I'm even shooting your stupid face because you deserve it. Because you freaking deserve it, man. Oh! Who is oops now? Who is. Oh! Oops! Oh! Your go! Oh! Shut up, man! I will always rise to the top. I will always. Be the creamiest cream there is, and a good cream always rises to the top, and I am the cream of the crop. Some of these games were absolutely banana, but have you seen how good the doorkeeper thrall is against stuff like freaking uh, what's her face? The uh, the no. Life gain decks, just amazing. Like there was nothing they could have done because their whole shtick is to gain life with uh, the door, like with entering battlefield creatures and all of that. So yeah, good luck, my friend. Good luck trying to do anything with that. I mean, against Boros, it is also very darn good because they will never get like, you know, the, um, the Knight Errant of Eos or the Red Catcher dude, you know? So that is very darn freaking good. I enjoyed the deck very much. I tried to make it work like a whole freaking stream before and uh, I changed a lot of stuff to make it work. Uh, this was like version 6 or 7 of the deck. Sometimes you really, really have to wrangle it out and drip every single drop of juice out until you're happy with the freaking deck. Hey, if you are still here, please put a little Maloney Enlightened Exile down below in the comments. I would appreciate it very freaking much. A huge shout out to Ultimate Guard and to all of my uh, sponsor uh, sponsors right here uh, from the list. I will, you know take the time as soon as I can, like on Monday when I'm not streaming or on Sunday, to uh, refresh the list. I'm sorry, but it always takes so long. Always takes so long. Now the dogs are fighting. That is a good point to say, remember my friend, that if you wake it up tomorrow morning and see the beautiful, beautiful face of yours in the mirror, let all of you are pretty freaking sweet. I'm Matt Malone, and I will see you all tomorrow.